The Science Foundation College in Namavu Kure Jinja Ngo ingira kilomite mu Somino lia dene boarding Iliaba wala naba lenzi Kuolevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mletu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanyevi singa o Kwa kuzira musambu tano satu Chinana Abili musambu Zero muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences at Olive and Erevo. At Erevo, we teach sciences only. At Olive, we teach arts and sciences. Today, we are going to study alkynes. Alkynes are hydrocarbons with the general formula CN. H2N minus 2. Examples, when N is 2, the compound is a sign. When N is 3, the compound is propyne. Note that the names of alkynes end with Y-N-E. A sign, propyne. When N is 4, the compound is C4H6. You can write two isomers, but one in and then but two in. But one in and but two in are position isomers. These are compounds with the same functional group. In this case, a triple bond, but different positions of the functional groups. Preparation is of alkyne one. By refraction, we see no dihalogen, alkanes with alkaline, alcoholic solutions. For example, refraction 1 2 dibromo is same with alkaline alcoholic solution, it will give us a sign. Mechanism. The esoxide ion uses a lone pair of electron to abstract a proton from the compound, from the original compound. The double bond moves there. One bond between carbon and bromine on the opposite carbon will go. Double bond is formed. Another esoxide ion uses a lone pair to abstract the hydrogen from the compound. A triple bond forms, then a bond between carbon and bromine breaks. Then we get H. The first step in the mechanism, the oxide ion picks a proton from the dibromo ethane, a bond between hydrogen and ethane now goes between carbon and carbon to form a double bond. Then another oxide ion picks a proton from an opposite carbon atom, a triple bond forms between the two carbon atoms to get a sign. Form a sign. Example 2 1, 2 dichloropropane, uric refract with alkaline methanol will give you propyne. Mechanism
mesoxide, mesoxide ion picks a proton from dichloropropane using a lone pair from oxygen. This bond go. That bond breaks. Another mesoxide ion picks a hydrogen atom from the second carbon atom. This one comes here. This one goes. Then we get propyne. In the first step, the mesoxide ion picks a proton from dichloropropane. A double bond develops. A second mesoxide ion picks a proton from the second carbon atom. The bond is developed between a carbon atom, then the bond between carbon and chlorine breaks. We get propyne. Exercise. Complete and write a mechanism. One to the bromo. Phenylethane plus ethanol in the presence of potassium dioxide, reflux will give you phenyl ethyl. Will give you phenyl ethyl. Mechanism ethanol plus an alkaline, you get a oxide ion plus water. The oxide ion picks a proton from the compound. A double bond forms. The bond between carbon and bromine breaks. Double bond forms a second S oxide ion. This is the only pair of electron to pick up from the second carbon atom. Then the bond triple bond forms the bond between carbon and bromine breaks, and you get Phenyro ethyne. Phenyro ethyne. Preparation of ethyne from carbon. Carbon is heated with calcium to form calcium carbide. Calcium carbide. Calcium carbide is hydrolyzed with water to get calcium hydroxide plus ethane. Preparation of ethane from carbon. Carbon is heated with calcium to form calcium carbide. When calcium carbide is hydrolyzed with water, you get calcium hydroxide and ethane. Preparation of long alkynes. Ethane
is reacted with sodium and liquid ammonia to form a salt. This salt is reacted with alkyl halide. The ring show the alkyne will be determined by the ring of the alkyl halide. For example, If you want an alkyne of three carbon atoms, then you use alkyl halide of one carbon atom so that the one plus two carbon atoms will form three carbon atoms. If you want an alkyne of four carbon atoms, it means that you use an alkyl halide of two carbon atoms. Bromo is thin, plus the salt, you get but you get but one in. Synthesize propyne from ethane. We first convert this one to an alkene. We remember we can also convert this one to we can also convert this one. To this we can also convert this one to a triple bond you can also convert this one think of a root to follow from the reactants to the product, then we can convert this one to that one. Then you can think of the reagents here. We saw this one when we are preparing alkenes. We use the conco sulfuric acid in the presence of heat. We saw this one when you consider the reaction of our kidneys, what did we use? We use BR2. We, are, we saw this one when we are preparing a rocaine. We used and reflux. We saw this one when we converted the alkyne into a salt. We used the sodium. Then we saw how to add on a methyl group. We used the CH3 Cl. Such equation requires prior understanding of very many mechanisms.
We saw that this compound, which we want to synthesize as a good free carbon atom, this one has a good to carbon atom. Then you think of how do you introduce a triple bond? How do you add on a, a third carbon atom? You first convert ethanol into ethene by reacting with conchal sulfuric acid and heat. Then you convert ethene into 1,2-bromoethene by reacting with bromine into tocromethene. Then you convert 1,2-dibromoethene to ethene by refracting with alkaline alcoholic solution. Then react the acetate with sodium and liquid ammonia. You get sodium acid. Then react the sodium acid with with chromicene, and then you get propyne. Synthesize propyne from chloroethene. One way of doing it is by converting. Kulolo is into a sign. You convert a sign into into dichloro is in into dichloro is in. Then you can convert dichloro is in into a sign again then you can convert a sign into the salt sodium acid then you can convert sodium acid into propyne into Propyne, what is remaining is to add the, the condition is. So you can pause, complete, then you, you compare with my answer. So in this case, here we refract with ethanol. Then to convert this to, to this one, we react with the chlorine in the presence of CCl4. We react with the chlorine and it, we react with chlorine and tocolomethane. Then to convert one to dichloro ethane to ethane, we react with again the same reagent, but this time we can write it as. And then reflux. To convert this one, this one we can react with sodium, liquid ammonia, and then from the solid to propyne again, we will want to add on one carbon atom, so we use the uh, so the question of synthesis require actual understanding of all the work we have done so far. Reaction is of alkyne. One is combustion. Alkyne is like as a hydrocarbon is burn in oxygen to give carbon dioxide, water, and heat. Due to production of heat, they are used as fuel. An example is ethyne plus oxygen. You get carbon dioxide, water and heat. Reduction alkyne is 
maybe this trochanes using hydrogen and nickel or hydrogen and platinum. Alkanes can be this trochanes using hydrogen and palladium. Hydrogen and palladium is called Lindalas catalyst. Reduction of alkane to alkane is of importance because it has got a synthetic value. For example, when you require to synthesize one bromopropane from we may use the following synthetic process. You may pause and you fill in the condition is. Here we said we use we saw this reaction when you are preparing alkenes. We saw this reaction when you are looking at the action of alkenes. We saw this one, preparation of alkyne. We saw this one, reaction of alkynes. We saw this one, preparation of alkynes. We have seen this one, reaction is of alkyne, reduction of alkyne, reduction of alkyne we used hydrogen palladium. We saw this one when you are looking at the reaction of alkenes, so this one the reaction of HBr pero, peroxide, remember that is that a peroxide the, 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 the bromine atom should have gone to the second carbon atom, not the first carbon atom. But in the presence of a peroxide, it goes to the first carbon atom. Feeding electrophilic addition reaction. These are reactions in which electron deficient groups add to unsaturated compounds to form saturated compounds. These reactions are similar to those of alkenes, except that the addition occurs twice. For example, A, addition of halogenes in the presence of inert solvent. An example is propyne plus chlorine in the presence of tetrachloromethane. You get 1, 1, 2, 2, tetrachloro, Propane mechanism. One of the bond breaks 
and the pair of electron is donated to the chlorine atom and the chlorine molecule. The bond between the chlorine molecule breaks. The second stage, the first stage, hydrogen atom to attack goes to carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atom. Here we have one, here we have none. So you get Then the chlorine ion uses a pair of electron to add to the positive charge. Again, the double bond undergo the same reaction. The bond breaks, you go to chlorine atom. The first chlorine atom goes to carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. The positive sign goes charge. Positive charge goes to carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Again, the chlorine ion uses a lone pair of electron to form 1,1. One, one. To form 1,1, one, one. 2,2, two. chloro, propane. Example two, complete and write, write a mechanism. Complete and write a mechanism. You can pause, complete, write a mechanism, then you compare your answer with mine. Hope you have got The triple bond will go, then on each carbon atom gets attached to bromine atoms. In the mechanism, bromine molecule. The double bond breaks, a pair of electrons is donated to bromine atom in a molecule. The bond between the bromine atom was break. The first bromine atom attaches to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. Here we have one here we have none so the first bromine atom goes to carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atom then a positive charge goes to carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms then the bromine ion uses a pair of electron to bond with the carbon with a positive charge on a carbon This compound is still unsaturated, so undergo further reaction. The double bond breaks and a pair of electrons is donated to a bromine atom. In a molecule, the bond between the bromine atom is in a molecule breaks. The first bromine atom 
goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. Then a positive charge develops on a carbon atom with this number of hydrogen atoms. Then the bromine ion uses a lone pair of electron to bond with the positive charge and then you get Then you get one one two two tetrabromo phenyl isen phenyl isen. The reaction with hydrogen halides HX X is chlorine bromine or I. The reaction is carried out by mixing an alkyne and HX. An example propyne. Plus HCl, you get 2,2-dichlorolopropane. The mechanism the bond breaks and the pair of electron is donated to hydrogen atom. The, the bond between the hydrogen and the chlorine also breaks. The first hydrogen goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms, so it comes to this one. Here you have one, here you have zero. A positive charge develops on a carbon atom with this number of hydrogen atoms, so chlorine uses a pair of electron to bond with the positive charge. Then this compound is also unsaturated. It undergoes further reaction. A pair of electrons is donated to hydrogen atom. This bond breaks. Again, hydrogen goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms, so they become free. A positive charge goes there. Then chlorine ion uses their own pair of electrons to bond with a positive charge. Then you will get you will get two two dichloropropane. Then you will get two two dichloropropane between a number and a number you put a comma between a number and a letter you put a dash and it is one word two two dichloropropane. Phenyl ethyne plus HBr. You complete, write a mechanism, and then you compare your answer with mine. I hope you have got the following. One one dibromo phenyl isane. One one dibromo phenyl isane. Then the mechanism.
pair of electrons is donated to hydrogen atom of HBr. Then the bond between HBr and hydrogen breaks. The first hydrogen atom goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. Then the positive charge goes to a carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Then the bromine uses a pair of electrons to bond with the positive charge. Then we get still the product is unsaturated. It undergo further reaction. Hydrogen goes to carbon atoms with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. They become free, free plus one becomes free. Then a positive charge goes to carbon atoms with the least number of hydrogen atom. Then the bromine ion uses a pair of electrons to bond with the positive charge. And then we get You get one one dibromo phenyl ethane between the number and the number, comma, between the number and the letter, you put a dash. So it is one one dibromo phenyl ethane. <laughs> Reaction with water. The reaction is catalyzed by sulfuric acid and maturate to sulfate to give carbonyl compounds. For example, a thine plus water in the presence of maturate sulfate and sulfuric acid will give you ethanol. You remember that we said that whenever we use hydrogen plus, we are referring to phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid. Mechanism the double bond breaks and is donated to a proton, and the pair of electron is donated to a hydrogen ion. The first hydrogen ion goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms, but in this case, we have the same number of hydrogen atoms, so the hydrogen ion can go to either. Now, we've chosen this one to form. with a positive charge. Then the water molecule uses a pair of electron to form the positive charge develops on the water molecule. Remember the positive charge does not disappear until you either subtract it or you neutralize so the positive which was here goes there then it is here there is a loss of a proton to form h2c double bonds ch then o h there's the arrangement this bond picks a proton from oxygen this bond comes there, and then we end up with H3C, C, H, double bond O. 
we get ethanol. We get ethanol. Example two, propane plus water in the presence of material sulfate and sulfuric acid. You can pause, complete, compare your answer with mine. I hope you have got mechanism the bond breaks and the pair of electrons is added to hydrogen ion from sulfuric acid then the ion attaches itself to carbon atoms the highest number of hydrogen atoms to get CH2 a positive charge develops on a carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atom. Then a water molecule uses a pair of electrons to react with the positive charge. Then we get With a positive charge there, there is a loss of a proton. We subtract a positive ion. We end up with the double bond breaks and picks a proton from oxygen. This bond goes there. There is a rearrangement. And we get CH3. Example 3 phenylethylene plus water and presence of material sulfate and hydrogen from and presence of material sulfate and sulfuric acid. You complete, write a mechanism, then you compare your answer with mine. I hope you have got the following. Hope you have got that one. Mechanism. These things are easy, you just repeat them over and over. As long as you know the functional group react, you just repeat the same mechanism, leaving the other groups as they are. So in this case, the double bond breaks, it goes to hydrogen from sulfuric acid, the proton attaches it's a serif on a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. Here we have one, we have a natural high number of hydrogen atoms are here. You get a positive charge. Then a water molecule uses the only pair of electron to bond with the positive charge you will get the other groups as they are just play with the functional group then you get CH2 then O H is the same mechanism there is a loss of a positive charge And then you get
There's a rearrangement, this double bond breaks. A pair of electrons landed in this hydrogen atom, this bond goes there. There's a rearrangement. to form that one reaction of terminal alkynes reaction of terminal alkynes hydrogen atoms on the terminal alkyne can be substituted with silver iron from ammonium silver nitrate or copper one iron from ammonium copper one chloride to give a white or a red PPT respectively. When you are given an equation to distinguish between the, this pair of compounds, that is paint one, or paint one wine and paint two wine. In this case, this one has got a terminal alkyne. It can react with ammonium silver nitrate to get a white PPT. Or this one would not. Or ammonium copper chloride. This one will give you a red PPT. This one will not give you a red PPT. I hope when you listen through this video over and over, you'll be able to get sense. Remember the rules. Which atoms goes where when the bond breaks? Usually. The first atom goes to a carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms, unless otherwise. Rachi, Rachi, Rachi. My name is Rachi. Oh, my dear, I can't stop being Rachi, oh my dear, I can't stop Watching, Rusi woji fumbira waba wachamu Umuru njata na wakanyuwa Nobu tayo za chiba chichamu Benjiko yomu kwa na chisenge Wachi Nairu wachi Mondo kumotu woma la kuyomba Mondo kumotu woma la kuruana Mondo kumotu otu jereka Wachi Wangano kulia mchalo Wagala is such a kunuma, Wagan Siva Molisati, Monokumu Kutandua, Monokumu Nimanta Buka, Monokumu Sima Kuba, Monoku Omeraji Vakumazi, Wetege Kere Muno, Mufoni Raka Seda Kamala, Bozani Somu Kogan Yumidwa, Wagazani Sami Pira Nimisa, Zani Sapalun. And <laughs> Oku wa so much a lava woe, Jagalo much a lava woe, Betty Tayomba Yomba, Betty Tanyika Nika, Betty Tagana Gana, Oyagara Kaunga Bao, Oyagalo much a lava woe, and Yimbazo Mopida Sobola, and Yumisa, Yumira. Mirumuquano, 
writing 